So shadows, there's a lot to talk about with shadows. There's a few different types of shadows. There are, there's artificial light and there is natural light. So natural light is considered any light that is coming from the sun, including the moon. And these are all natural light, parallel, positive, negative, and there is artificial light. That's anything that's not coming from the sun. Oh, light bulbs, fire, anything that emits light that is coming from a source that, well, I guess you could say kind of like a, a local source, something that is from the surface of the planet and not coming from something that is an astronomical unit away from Earth. So we're gonna, we'll go through all of these. But parallel, well, let's start with this. This is probably the easiest one, parallel. So if you think like this, here is the Earth. It's a little more convenient to think of it as a flat disk when talking about it's describing these light sources. And then um, think of like a dome over the planet's surface. So the sun can be anywhere along this. Here's ground. If the sun's down below this, of course, then it's nighttime. The so sun is, this is horizon line, and you're standing right there, and you're kind of looking that way. Okay, so we're gonna, let's draw, cut this in half, this, this hemisphere in half. So this, if the sun's anywhere on this side, then it's in front of the viewer and it would be considered positive. And anything back here with the sun behind the viewer, that would be considered negative. And if this rare situation, these two degrees of these 360, if the sun is along this path, then this would be considered parallel. So think of it this way. Your sun. So um, it's called parallel because let's draw a picture plane in here and hopefully this will yeah, make sense. So if the sun's out here in front of the viewer, then a, the ray of light coming to the earth is hitting the picture plane at an angle. And if it's the sun's behind the viewer, and then the, the ray of light coming from that, the sun would be hitting the picture plane at an, at an, also at an angle. But if the sun is lined up, like here, like 90 degrees from where the viewer is looking, then the ray of light coming from the sun is going to be parallel to the picture plane. So it will have no vanishing point. See, positive, negative, the converging artificial light, all of those, the, the, the ray of light will have a vanishing point attached to it. So if I had a little, whoops, little stick sitting like on the ground, this, and then the uh, sun's out in front, then the, the shadow's like coming this way towards the viewer, and if the sun's behind the, the viewer, then that's going to be going like away from the viewer. But if the sun is here along this line, 90 degrees from where the viewer is looking, the shadow is going to be parallel to the picture plane. It's gonna be this going to the left, or it's going to be going to the right, but it's running parallel to, to this plane. So that's kind of a, a nice way to kind of start out with these shadows because um, the, the shadows itself, the, the shadows are running parallel to the picture plane, so they get no vanishing points. And, and the ray of light coming from the, the sun, that has no vanishing points either. So those two things. There is the ray of light, so we call that
the light angle. And so the light angle is literally that. It is the angle of the ray of light to the ground plane. And there is also ground line. A little harder to explain like that. Um, it's the shadow sometimes, but it's not always the shadow. So it becomes harder to give it a one-liner explanation what the ground line is. Okay, so it is a line that goes along the ground, but that doesn't really explain much. So I think a, a better definition for these two things, the ground line and the light angle, is to explain tell you like what they do that's I think better so the what the light angle does is give you the length of the shadow and what the ground line does is give you the angle of the shadow so that's our beginning and we're gonna go through these things there's there's oh uh, there's let's see there's shadows of vertical lines there's shadows of horizontal lines there's shadows of lines that are neither of those things, or they're inclines, shadow of inclines. There's uh, shadows of curved surfaces. And then those are things that can cause the shadows. And then there's shadows of vertical lines on horizontal surfaces, vertical shadows of vertical lines on vertical surfaces. And there's shadow of vertical lines on angled surfaces and shadows of vertical lines on curved surfaces. And you get the idea that it like there's all these just different combinations. And that's just with the, the parallel light. And we have all of those things also with when the sun's in front of the viewer and what's when it's behind the viewer. And then all of those things also happen with uh, artificial light, light bulbs and such. So we'll just go through these things one at a time and it's going to be a lot of videos, I think.